Hey, Christy Mattoon here with Mind Rewire. Glad you're here with me today. I really appreciate that as always. Um, please subscribe, like, follow, whatever social media thing you're on right now. I greatly appreciate that all the time, all the time. It helps with our standings. And if you share this video, that helps even more. Even leaving a comment makes a difference. So please feel free to leave a comment. Um, if you ask a question, I always try and get on to answer those. So go ahead and ask a question if you have one. What I want to talk about today is trusting yourself and the ability to trust yourself. And I don't even think it's really an ability. It's just a decision that you make that you can trust yourself. The freedom to know that you can trust yourself and having expe experiential evidence that leads you to believe that you can trust yourself makes a huge difference. So if you've got a trail or a string of stuff that's happened and you're like, I just don't trust my thoughts. I don't trust what I feel. I don't trust what I think I'm hearing. I don't know if this is my heart or my head. I don't know if this is God talking or something else. You know, whatever the problem is, if you have an ability to discern truth and the ability to trust yourself, it all gets a little bit easier. So I'm going to walk you through something that I took a guy through the other day. Um, actually, it was two people um, back to back with the exact same thing going on. And both of them were a little bit different based on their own experience and their own um, life progression, clearly. And so they happened a little bit differently, but it was really super fun. And I want to share this with you. So if you're having a problem with trust, and particularly for yourself, the ability to trust yourself, Hopefully this will help you um, alleviate that issue. Like we just want to get rid of it. So here's what happened. The guy is, um, that's working with me, this particular gentleman that's working with me, is getting better and better and better. Like every time it's like, oh, it's better. Oh, it's better. Oh, it's better. And this last time we got on the um, Zoom together, he said, you know, it's better, but there's just this weird under feeling. I just don't trust myself. And I was like, aha, like, let's go, like, stop right there. Let's go after that. And it's not about why or figuring out why you don't trust yourself. Who cares why? It really doesn't matter. And you might care why. I don't know. I don't care why. I just want you to be able to trust yourself. If you start chasing reasons why and you start chasing causation, it's really easy to get like sidetracked or confused and go down little bunny trails. So I try and just stick like right to the point and the point that I don't trust myself. So what I asked him was, well, if you did trust yourself, what do you think that would feel like? And he just sat there and stared at me, stared at me for a while. And he's like, wow, I don't know. And I was like, well, think about it. Like go into your heart, kind of just sit with it for a second. What would it feel like if you trusted yourself? So here's what I want you to do. I want you to ask yourself this question. What would it feel like if you actually trusted yourself? Grab a little card and start writing. Across the top of it, you're gonna write the word trust. And then this is gonna be like a column. And in this column, you're gonna write all of the attributes of trust. Things that you think you would feel if you could actually trust yourself or when you, do tr when, when you will be able to trust yourself, yeah? So the first thing he finally came up with was knowing. If I truly trusted myself, I would know. No questions. And I said, that's awesome. Can you find a place in your life where you did absolutely know? And he sat there for a second again and he said, yeah, when I worked on cars, I always knew. I knew what was wrong with them. I knew how to fix it. I always knew. And I was like, that's awesome. What did that feel like? He was like, oh, what did that feel like? And finally, he told me it felt like a sense of accomplishment and it felt like pride. I, said, I love that. That's perfect. He said, what else would, if you trusted yourself, what else? What's another attribute of trust? His second one was confidence. You would have confidence. And I said, when was a time in your life when you had confidence and you could feel it? And he goes, well, my job. And I said, well, what happens at your job when you have confidence? Tell me, tell me a little bit more about that. What does that feel like? And he says at his job, because he has confidence, people ask him to do more. Because he can get the job done. And they know it. 
He said it's very rewarding. People trust him. It's a sense of accomplishment. It's the second time sense of accomplishments come up. And then he said, I'm valuable. That's what it feels like. It feels like I'm valuable when I have confidence on my job. And I said, that's perfect. What else? And he sat there for a second. He said, I think that's all. He goes, he goes, but I think if I really trusted myself, I would be okay with the result. I said, well, when was a time when you could be okay with an result, with be okay with the result? And he goes, when I worked on cars or in my job. And working on cars isn't his job. That's two separate things. And I said, okay, well, if it's if you're okay with the result, what would that feel like? And he goes, my expectations would be met and I would feel good. Very simple. I was like, wow. So if you trusted yourself, it would feel like a sense of accomplishment, a feeling of pride. Like anybody could ask you for more, to do more, because you could get the job done. It would feel rewarding because you're valuable to yourself. The reward is multifaceted. You get rewarded from the external and you get re rewarded from the internal for yourself. Again, just that sense of accomplishment. His ex expectations would be met. If he trusted himself, expectations would be met, which means manifestation gets easier. Are you following the trail here? He just feels good about this. If you follow the trail through, take some of this stuff apart, right? The bigger conceptual kind of ideas that you're struggling with balancing, that you're struggling with finding a better feeling to. Take them apart. Take them apart and then use the pieces to put it back together. So the trail that we went through for, I want to trust myself. I just don't feel like I trust myself was what would it feel like if you did trust yourself? And then finding places in his life where he did have those attributes. And then what did that feel like? So in trust, he wanted to be able to know that he knows, right? Knowing. In cars, he knows. He knows how to build them. He knows how to fix them. He knows how to take care of them. There's no question. And then doing that feels like a sense of accomplishment and a sense of pride. Right? And then we went down the list. Confidence at his job had all these feelings to it. Now, when you take those feelings, so I would take, and here was the actual list I was writing, trust, knowing, confidence, okay with the result, car, job, that was both the same, and then all of the stuff down here that we went through. We took this list and submitted a sense of accomplishment, what that would feel like not only to his subconscious mind, but to his heart. So we found something that felt like a sense of accomplishment, which was his job. It was super easy to do. Put him in a whole brain state and let him feel that. And we rolled right from one to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. What would it feel like if you trusted yourself? I want you to ask yourself that question. Go through this little process. If you want, use this. Use exactly what I just now told you. Think sense of accomplishment. Put your hands over your heart. Take a few deep breaths. Cross your ankles. Your wrists are already, your hands are already crossed. You're already over your heart. You're activating that center. And then feel a sense of accomplishment. What does that feel like? To me, a sense of accomplishment feels like walking down a beach hearing the ocean, just being there. That's what it feels like. It's that power of the ocean rolling in and out. It's the sun beaming down on top of me. It's the coolness in the air. It's the mist from the water. Go through every one of those and find a feeling that you can relate back to whatever the thing is, even if they don't seem related. And then hold it in that whole brain state. Feel it inside your heart until you feel it lock into your system. It could take a few minutes. It will be really, really worth it. I hope this blesses you. Please comment below. Thank you for being here. This is Christy Mattoon from Mind Rewire.